correct, it's a picturesque afternoon for football in the Northeast, and EA Sports comes to you from MetLife Stadium just across the Hudson River from New York City. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Atlanta Falcons taking on the New York Jets. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The New York set to take the field. First play, and Wilson wants to throw it. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Second down, eight to go from the 28. Throwing is Wilson. His throw here's incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early, but it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. Now Wilson. He's got a man complete, and he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere, and they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people, but you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. They'll run for the first time with Brees Hall. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. From the 46, here's the second and nine. To throw is Wilson. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls or sometimes something a little more improvised, as we just saw there. They'll run with Hall. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. That's thrown quickly out wide to Lazard. So just three yards on the completion there. And that'll make it second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Wilson. Open man here is Conklin. Second catch for him today, and it'll roll down the first down. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Big Calais Campbell fighting through to make the play in the backfield. No score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now from MetLife Stadium. The Jets with the football here as they've got it with a second and 14 upcoming. Now it's Wilson. 
He finds his man complete. It's Wilson. First target, first catch, and a first down. Seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're re And now the red flag out on the field. We'll have a challenge forthcoming. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Now Wilson. And his throw is incomplete. Jets are good. He's going to be a very busy guy. Two catches already in this opening drive, and they were looking his way for a third. I think they put this defense on notice that that could be a really, really frequent combination. Second and 10. From the shotgun, Wilson. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Tyler Conklin from 13 yards out. And the Jets post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Well, that drive felt like it took up an eternity. We finally have some action on the scoreboard. Yeah, but plenty of action prior to because that drive took up all the first quarter before we spilled into the second, and finally points were registered. On the other sideline, they're chomping at the bit just to get the football. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. On the return, here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Atlanta now coming out on the field. Falcons first and 10 here as Ritter gets them ready at their own 27. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. A Ritter's throw complete to Hollins. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. Ritter on first and 10. Kadero Hodge has it complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Now the first running back taken back in April, the former Longhorn, B. John Robinson. And really a nice job there to make something out of that run, sidestepping defenders for a pickup of four. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger.
Second down throw coming for Ritter. And he's got it to Patterson complete. Touchdown, Falcons. Cordero Patterson, 33 yards. And the Falcons are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. And that's another route the defenders would vote to take out of the game. The wheel route? Oh, without a doubt. You're just trying to move everybody in one direction. And whether it's a running back or another receiver, as they zip out on the sideline, you've got a problem on your hands. Yeah, well, the defenders hate it there. It happened, and it resulted in a touchdown. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because he's got a man complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. I think it's pretty safe to say that initially they had to be thinking about trying to get into field goal range. But after that shot right there, they've got to be thinking bigger right now. And that was probably their thought offensively. If we hit this, great. Let's go for the end zone. If not, settle for a field goal. Looks like they can try to hit Pater. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Now Wilson on second down. He finds Randall Cobb with a completion. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 17-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. Dancing to his left. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. The second and seven with our score tied at seven, but they're planning to change that soon. Only question, will they get three or six out of it? And he's got it. Touchdown, Jets. Tyler Conklin, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Jets will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. So they get their tight end away from the line to the outside, and he works his way in for six. Tight ends are not just blockers anymore. I don't know how many more times we need examples, but here's a great one. Gets to the outside. They give him the ball pretty quickly, and they trust him to get those extra yards. And boy, did he come through pulling his way into the end zone after the nice catch.
Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. And the Falcons going to get one more drive here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. On first down, Ritter. And complete to Drake London. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Ritter. Got a man, it's Patterson complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Ritter to throw it. And that's going to be incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Now a second and ten. Looking to throw it here. Ritter. Throw left side. There's London. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Five yards. Now it's third and five. before the half. Here's Ritter. That's down the field for Jefferson. And it's knocked away and incomplete. So we've hit halftime here at MetLife Stadium with the home team, the Jets, leading this one. As we get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Falcons offense ready to get going to begin this third quarter. But Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Oh, it's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer. So that time they got the left guard with a hold. And let's face it, in today's ball, you might have that 330-pound guy you're supposed to clear out of there. You might need a little bit of extra help by grabbing the jersey and trying to ride him out. A Ritter back to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Robinson. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that's going to bring up second down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Second down and a run by Robinson. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. I have to think a major focus of the halftime makes had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. He'll get this into the hands of Hodge. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. 
Just a gain of a couple there. And it'll be fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. We'll call that a 49-yard punt with a return of just two. And the Jets will take over first and ten. So here's the Jets' offense now as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because, remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started. The way that they're going about doing things right now, they've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. We often give credit to the O-line. Their two tight end formation, those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. On second down, a run with Hall. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Back to the ground. This time, Cook. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Caught by Cobb. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters have come and gone. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. From the 43, it's second and three. It's Jet Football as they've got the lead here, and we get set to begin quarter number four. Out of the gun, they run it with Hall. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. But they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. Colin, no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends are like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Over the middle, it's complete. They get seven out of that, so they're left with their third and three. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Now it's Wilson. And he is going to be taken down. They got it. As that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. Looks like a nine-yard loss, and it also brings up fourth. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. Yeah, he was 
Williams looking for the checkup bounce. Didn't get it. That scoops all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. So now Ritter and the Falcons down 14 to 7. A minute 55 remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Ritter. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. The former third overall pick, Quentin Williams there to bring him down. I thought there at the end he may have had a chance to release that, but that pocket closed a little too quickly and down he went. Yeah, he was certainly trying to do everything he could to extend the life of the play, probably counting in his head. One, two, and then he ran out of time. Meanwhile, Ritter's thrown into the hands of Pitts here. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Now Ritter. And he puts it on the carpet. It's out. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. we got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with just 70 seconds left to go in the game. The New York set to take the field. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. So they come up on second down. If they can get another run like we just saw, it would likely put an end to this thing. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Let's go, let's go. Third and four. Here's Hall again. And he will have a Jets first down, and that should just about do it. A big pick up there, and without question, that should be more than enough to wrap this one up. His longest run of the game right there, and a pretty good time for a huge third down conversion late. Love the mindset. Love the way he flipped the switch. Late in the game, needed a big run, and helped produce it with great leverage from the offensive line. But you also know what happens, too. The defense stacks the line. So if you can break through that first barrier, there's usually plenty of room to run. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair. Low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You I, like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeros. Kind of a strange ball game, Charles. We did not have a single point by either team after half. A really a defensive clinic by both sides in half number two. And wasn't that just beautiful to watch? Come on, man. Come over to the dark side with me. Wasn't that fun to see these defenses holding sway right